You know, more people are looking into electric vehicles these days, especially with gas prices as high and unstable as they've been. But is our infrastructure really ready for all those charges that come with those vehicles, especially our power grid? The folks at Sandia National Labs are raising the alarm about another concern on this topic. Just how secure can new electric charging stations be? And we're not talking about your typical credit card skimmer at the gas station that we've covered countless times. There could be a bigger threat that comes with this electric infrastructure. Spencer Shaw is here to explain what researchers want to see. Spencer, as we move forward with green technology, and that definitely includes some security measures. Yep, cybersecurity to be specific, Tessa. And after publishing this research, the cybersecurity experts at Sandia National Labs really want more safeguards to be put in place. Because if these chargers get hacked, it could mean more than just someone's credit card information gets lost. There are multiple electric car charging stations across Albuquerque, from the Biopark to Walmart. There are even some free ones downtown. I haven't had no issues at all, really, to tell you the truth. Most drivers of electric cars don't think twice when they plug them in, especially in terms of cybersecurity. I haven't really given it uh, some additional thought in terms of added protection or encryption. But researchers at Sandia National Labs have found some major issues when it comes to securing these charging stations. And those could be things like insecure firmware update uh, uh, processes, there are challenges with uh, local web interfaces and vulnerabilities that exist with those. Uh, you, can, you can see some of these devices have um, Wi-Fi access points that allow you to connect with your smartphone and then configure the charger to do certain things. While we haven't had any major cyber attacks here in the U.S., hackers overseas have brought some charging grids to their knees. An interesting example of this is um, there is an M11 motorway that ran from St. Petersburg to Moscow. And during the start of the conflict uh, with Russia and Ukraine, uh, there were Ukrainian parts inside these electric vehicle chargers on this Russian uh, motorway. And the Ukrainians were able to disable uh, those chargers and display anti-Putin pro-Ukraine messages on them. Other hackers could steal passwords and credit card information, or they could turn off a whole bunch of chargers at once, sending shockwaves through our power grid. Power grid operates where you need to provide a certain amount of generation to meet load. And so if that load is suddenly, you're, you're disconnecting a bunch of electric vehicle chargers, all of, all of a sudden that changes significantly. And so your generation needs to rapidly readjust or else you're going to have swings in frequency on the power grid. So now the question Sandia Labs and their partners are asking is will cybersecurity regulation come from the federal government or from individual states? Right now in the United States, we do not have those requirements, but it seems like there is an appetite to apply them. Uh, just because of several of the vulnerabilities that we've discovered. But in the meantime, drivers are hoping these chargers will keep them on the road. Well, I mean, other than I hope it, that doesn't become a problem because I've been otherwise very happy with the electric vehicle. <laughs> Now, the researchers behind this study are hoping these regulations are put in place soon. Earlier this year, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham submitted our state's $38 million plan to the feds to get more charging stations built right here. Currently, the plan is to build chargers at least every 50 miles along our interstates. Tessa. All right, Spencer, thank you.